Hello Internet and welcome to the short and sweet guide to the Fractrade trading bot installation on Linux. In this video I will show you the basic installation and configuration of the Fractrade trading bot. We will download some data, we will test the strategy and finally we will run the bot in a terminal window. Take note that there will be a lot of editing in this video because I don't want to make this video longer than necessary. All the information of this video is also available on the Fractrade site. I will not do some extra stuff, uh, everything is basically uh, on the installation page of this site. So if you want to have more information, uh, please read that. As said before, I'm using a virtual machine with my preferred Linux distribution, it's Mint. Uh, and uh, again, everything is also available on the Factrade site. The installation requirements uh, are Git, Python 3.7 and up, Python pip and the virtual environment, and also TALIP. Uh, don't worry, we don't have to install this manually. Everything will be installed with the installation script, uh, which is provided with the frag trade bot. So to begin, uh, let's update the repository and install the basic packages that are needed for the frag trade bot. So I have to open a terminal window and in preparation of this video, I also added all the commands in a text file, which makes this installation a little bit shorter. Okay, I'm now going to install all the packages needed for the frag trade bot. After we have finished, we can download and install the Fractrade trading bot. Uh, to download the development branch of Fractrade repository, just use the um, commands that are noted over here and enter the Fractrade directory for further installation. But before we actually uh, install the Fractrade bot, we have to choose if we uh, will use the stable version or the development version. In my case, I will use the stable version because I want to trade uh, with a live uh, amount of money. After we have chosen the branch, we can uh, install the bot with the provided script from Fractrade itself. Uh, mind you, it will uh, have some questions about what to install. So this question will ask you if you want the current uh, branch to be resetted. Well, I choose no because I want to keep the current branch. Uh, I'm not a developer, so this question for development dependencies is not for me. This question will ask me if I want to install the plotting dependencies, uh, which I want, so I will choose yes. And this, and this question will ask me if I want to have uh, some hyper-optimization dependencies, and I want to also have these because in uh, later videos I want to show them how to use them. The whole installation procedure can uh, take a while, so uh, you might, well, might as well grab uh, a coffee and uh, return after it's finished.
after we are finished we will see these commands uh, which will give us some hints about what to do uh, it says here we have to activate the uh, Python environment so we'll do that first and we can see that the Python virtual environment has been activated here and now we can use the fractrate help command to see if fractrate is installed correctly Okay, great. Well, let's take the next step then. Now we have to create a user directory which will contain the logs, backtesting data, uh, plots and all kinds of uh, strategies. And then we'll have to uh, make a new configuration which we can use to start the bot. First of all, let's make the user directory. Great. And now we will make the fractrate configuration. This configuration will ask us some questions about uh, if we want to have a live trade or dry run mode. Well, uh, first of all, I want to have a dry run mode because I don't want to have uh, real money at stake when testing. Uh, the stake currency is a USD Tether in this case. The stake amount will be uh, 100, so I will just go by the default. And the maximum open trades will be 3. You can use this as a default setting as well. Uh, the desired time frame, well 5 minutes is good enough for me. And now uh, we can uh, see the display currency. It's all in the US dollar, so I will use this as well. This is the section where we have to choose the exchange. Well, I use Binance, so I will use that as well. I do not want to enable Telegram for messaging at this moment. Uh, and I will not be using the REST API. So this complete configuration is uh, fairly default. During the configuration, the setup file uh, asks you to enter a exchange. Uh, there's a lot of supported markets that you can use. Uh, everything is uh, very well documented on the frag trade side. Now we will have to edit the config file and add some trading pairs for downloading backtest data and for trading. Just look up the pair whitelist and add some pairs. This will be enough. To download sample data from an exchange, we can use the following command. You can see that the config file will be used and uh, it will download uh, approximately 1000 days of backtesting data. Also the following time frames can be downloaded. Uh, in my case I only want to have the 5 minute time frame data from the last 9 days. You can list the following directory to see if data is downloaded. Here you see the Binance data and here you see the pairs. Before we can continue with backtesting we have to do a minor tweak to the config.json file uh, because the volume pair list is not supported for backtesting we have to change this to static pair list. Just change this to static pair list. Oh. 
and remove these file uh, lines. And save the configuration. In my case, I want to test the provided sample strategy from FragTrade over the complete dataset I just downloaded. So here we go. And here you can see the results. We have a small profit of 1.3% uh, with a starting balance of $1,000 uh, in Tether, of course, and a final balance of uh, $1,013. Uh, so actually, over the last nine days, this strategy uh, was profitable. However, if you uh, tested this strategy over a longer period, I think it would not be so good as uh, shown here. In this final demonstration, I will show you how to run the FragTrade trade bot in uh, dry run mode. So uh, if I start this bot with this command, it will start trading. Um, however, it will be paper trading uh, and not actual trading. We will now enter the command to run the bot and let's see what will happen. Okay, everything seems to be running fine. Uh, take note of these kind of log messages. It's running, the dry run has been enabled, so no live trading, and uh, it uses a strategy, sample strategy. Doesn't seem to be any buy conditions for the strategy, uh, and maybe that's better because it is uh, running in a terminal window. And the disadvantage of running in a terminal window is that if I'm closing the terminal, it will also close the bot. Thank you for watching my video. Please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get updated on new videos. Till next time.